Hello and welcome to this video. Today we would be discussing one of the very important topics of your PMP exam preparation, how to improve the mock scores or the exam simulator scores for your PMP exam prep step by step. Many of you have asked me a lot of questions such as, I have scored 67% in a mock, am I ready for the exam? I am scoring about 60 to 75% in my mock simulations. How is my preparation level? Or I am not able to score above 60% in my mocks. How should I improve my score? So I will try my best to answer these questions in today's video. Keep watching. To improve the mock scores for your PMP exam preparation, you need to remember the first underlying bedrock principle of PMP exam mocks, which is your mock scores are not representative of your scores in the actual PMP exam. So that's a bit of a myth buster, right? So let me explain. The first thing what you need to understand guys is none of the mock exams in the market represent the actual PMP exam to its 100%. Whether you take Prepcast or Udemy or Simply Learn, whichever platform you are using, you cannot expect a 100% simulation of the actual PMP exam. And the reason is obvious, right? Because only PMI reserves the right to publish questions that are like the actual PMP exam. So you may find questions or you may find mocks which represent about 90% or 80% like the actual exam, but trying to answer this question that which of the mocks do represent 100% like the actual PMP exam is futile, okay? So what should be your strategy? Your strategy here should be to understand the intent of writing the mock exams. So what is the intent of writing a mock exam or a mock simulator? The first intent is to make yourself aware of your knowledge gaps that where you are lacking which of the concepts needs revision for you and the second intent of writing a mock exam is to train your mind or train yourself to sit in a chair for four hours at a stretch and solve 200 mind-boggling questions that's it these are the two intents of writing any mock exam now before we move ahead if you are liking this video guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for notifications. That way you will be notified each and every time I come up with a new video. So step number one to improve your mock exam scores. Write mocks to understand your knowledge gaps and train yourself for the exam like conditions. Don't treat mocks as prototypes of the actual PMP exam. This is the worst mistake you can do during your PMP exam preparation. Now the next question which you guys often ask me is what is an ideal mock exam score? Is it 80%? Is it 75%? Is it 90%? Now this is what I need you to understand guys. As long as you are analyzing each and every mock after you have written the mock exam, the scores of the mock exam does not really matter. You can score 50%, you can score even 40% or you even can score 80% but that does not matter. What matters is after each and every mock, you sit and analyze the mock thoroughly starting from question number one to question number 200. Now let me help you understand that how should you go ahead with analyzing your mock exams. Now before we start with the process of analyzing mocks, let me give you a quick data point. These are my mock exam scores when I took my PMP exam. The first one was 50%. Next, 58%, the third one was 65%, and the fourth one was 72%. Not that great, right? Starting from 50% and moving on to 72% by end of three months. But I still passed my exam in first attempt, right? So what's the key? What's the key to success? Now, understand guys, the devil is in the details. It does not matter how much you score. What matters is how you analyze each and every mock of yours thoroughly. And that's the secret mantra for excelling in your PMP exam preparation. And this is how you should start analyzing your mock exam. Firstly, if you have written a mock exam which is for 4 hours, you should spend at least 12 hours to analyze the mock. Start from question number 1 and move all the way to question number 200. Okay. And as you move along all the questions, divide the questions into two halves. 
the first half is the ones which you got right the second half is the one which you got wrong for the ones which you've got right check two things the first thing whether you have got it right by understanding the concept or by fluke and the second thing which you want to check is if you have spent a lot of time in a question and then got it right was there a way to answer that question more quickly okay and this may be relevant for questions which has decision trees or which has questions from earned value management okay and once you have analyzed the questions which you have got right move on to the questions which you have got wrong now when you analyze the questions which you have got wrong move through this step by step process ask yourself the following questions in which knowledge area i am making the most mistakes is it procurement management or risk management did i answer a question incorrectly because i did not know the concept or the application of the concept are there any repeat mistakes i am making like recalling formulas or trying to understand the critical path method if a question took greater than 5 minutes to solve and still i got it wrong was there a way to solve it correctly and quickly am i making any careless mistakes is there a common trend of incorrect answers for example i'm getting more situational type questions wrong and all along this analysis keep on updating your error logs so that after writing four to five mocks you have a good amount of errors which you want to revise before the day of your pmp exam so step number 2 to improve your mock scores don't fret yourselves on the results of your mock or get into the vanity metrics of a high mock scores instead analyze each and every mock after you write them and target improving your score with the help of your error log now another important tip for you guys while writing the mock exams is try to write your mock exams or mock simulations in as much as a exam like environment as possible now this is quite obvious guys what i am specifically hinting here is do not take too much breaks in between because in the actual exam you will not be able to take so many breaks now that means that don't take the exam in parts like you answer 50 questions on day 1 50 questions on day 2 50 questions on day 3 and so on sit in a room for a stretch of 4 hours and get the full 200 questions attempted in a single sitting okay the third important one get a good wifi connection while writing your mock and this is specifically very important for the ones who are writing the exam from their home during this coronavirus period and the last and the most important one do not write a mock exam open book guys don't try to fool yourself okay so that's it guys the three most important steps that you should start doing from today to see a dramatic improvement in your mock exam scores Let me know in the comment section below how you like this video or whether you are really seeing any improvement in your mock exam scores after applying these strategies that we have discussed in this video. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you again in another awesome video like this very soon. Bye bye.